morning, all you morning people out there and Molly. <laughs> I'm a morning person. <laughs> well, I just, you know, after we learned all of our viewers are such morning people, I just wanted to say good morning to that. Congratulations there you to go. them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Each and every one yeah. of you. Today, I, I set my alarm again for an hour early, but it didn't have, oh, maybe about a half an hour. So I'm still working on it. I went to bed an hour earlier. How about that? Oh, yeah. that helps. I thought that I'd could start be the there. That, there's, yep, that, that could be part of the 60 minute challenge. I yes. like it. Okay, so I wanted to talk about hand washing because there was a survey done. Despite the pandemic and, of course, repeated recommendations from, from all the public health mm -hmm. officials, 12% of adults still regularly fail to wash their hands after using the bathroom. No. Yep, That's 12%. Just gross. That's gross. Yeah. It's, I know. They also surveyed 12,000 Brits, um, and it, it, the survey showed that the average adult washes their, their hands now eight times a day. It used to be five times a day, and they are washing longer, which is good news also. It's an average of 19 okay. seconds as opposed to 12. And so I timed myself once when I was washing my hands, but of course I was thinking about it, and it yeah. was about 12 seconds, I think, or I'm sorry, 20 seconds is where I am on average, but again, I was thinking about it. I count it out now, truthfully. I count 20 seconds, because I know right now that's a, a very important thing to do. But I, I try not to overwash either. You know, I'm trying to be smart about it. If you're some, you don't need to wash your hands if you're just in your own place doing your thing. Like, you want to keep your mind okay as well. You know, it can, it can really <laughs> permeate your thoughts. Yeah, and one of the things that occurred to me, at least in my house, because my kids are also doing the, you know, using hand sanitizer and masks and everything, is I see, I feel like overall people are less sick. I haven't seen colds and that kind of thing in my Good. house. Now, of course, it is summer, but I'm just wondering if everybody, you know, of course, the coronavirus is much more serious. Mm -hmm. um, but I, even like the average cold and those kinds of things, I haven't seen as much of that. I don't hear people talking about being sick. True, because a lot much. of times there's that sort of summer cold that people will get. Yeah. Not necessarily a flu, but a cold um, along with allergies. Obviously, people still having their allergies the same, but that's true. That's interesting. You know, this yeah. is this is totally uh, changing topics, but this is something I heard about being indoors and something that just for the summer sort of shocked me. Have you ever thought about wearing sunscreen indoors? No. The okay. only time I've thought about it is in the car because I've heard that through yes. the window of your car, you can get, you know, on your arm or your face and one side of your face, you know, one side of the driver. Side. That's what I think too. Yeah. When you're driving your driving hand or uh, that window or whatnot. Well, they say, get this 72% of UV rays are penetrating your clear glass windows in your home. Um, and that's according to the Journal of American Academy of Dermatology. So they say um, those sorts of things, that doesn't even count, you know, the ever-present smartphone, laptop, and television you're also getting rays from. So they actually say yes. This is from Oprah Magazine. They say yes, you should actually wear some sunscreen indoors if you're by those windows. I, I like the way you said this is from Oprah Magazine, yeah. like the holy grail. <laughs> the it is. end all be all source. It uh, is. No, but that's interesting. Because um, I don't think most people would ever think about getting up if you're going to be inside and putting on sunscreen. No, sitting by that window reading a little bit. Just no, you can still get those rays. Okay, today though, we're going to be talking about the State Fair. So that's our sound off. So go to our Facebook page. What do you miss most about the State Fair? We want to know. We'll have a chance to maybe help you out a little bit later.